Mr. Levy? Mark Levy, Oxford Street. Speaking to the legal opinion on the License Commission's authority. Uh, that law department opinion says decisions by the commission, and I quote, must be supported by substantial evidence, i.e. evidence which a reasonable mind might accept as adequate to support a conclusion and must not be arbitrary and capricious. If this were always the case, it would be less of an issue that the law department also tells us that the city manager has no legal authority to direct or otherwise influence the commission to make or alter any quasi-judicial decision. But... We're now one year and three months in on an effort to attack a small business called Upper West for not breaking any laws and to defend that attack. I hope I'm not alone in wondering how the License Commission found a small business guilty of breaking a law that doesn't exist, according to the Fire Department's own experts and affirmed by a state panel of judges. What was the substantial evidence that showed cause for punishment when there is literally no act to punish? Along the way, your fire department has been caught twice trying to retroactively create a law for the small business to have broken. And your police commissioner has equated the potential filing of a complaint with the making of a physical threat, a decision sparking an ongoing lawsuit from the American Civil Liberties Union. Welcome to Cambridge, right? This is how we want to be known? But what can you do about it? What are the checks and balances? We're told we have no power to question license commission decisions Yet these decisions are, as also described by our law department, what the commission does. What's interesting is that the state treasurer's office, which oversees the state alcoholic beverages control commission, told Wicked Local in a December 20, 2017 story that the ABCC also lacked jurisdiction over the commission, and the treasurer's office didn't know if it had authority either. That leaves an appeals process as the sole remedy for a potentially corrupt abusive series of decisions by this or a future license commission. But an appeal of a bad commission decision would be fought by our own law department. And you should know that in a search of public records dating back 10 years to June 2009, the law department never sent staff or outside counsel to the ADCC to defend decisions made by the commission a single time. That is until last year. Since then, three cases have been fought, two of them against Upper West. An expensive, time-consuming, years-long appeals process on a decision-by-decision basis doesn't alter the underlying problem of a potentially corrupt, abusive commission that belongs to Cambridge, is owned by Cambridge, is the responsibility of Cambridge. It's just an attempt to duck responsibility that only makes for bad, inequitable government where those with resources might get justice and others will not. Can any city councilor explain to their constituents, having read tonight's legal opinion, how the city handles a potentially corrupt city board or commission and ensures good government and equity for the citizens, small businesses, and taxpayers of the city. Thank you. And if you email those comments, they'll be included in the record.